I'm very excited. My adventures with Superman, uh, so fun, so bright. Just like I feel like it's really Superman's year so far. It's been such a great year for the character. Uh, I guess going back a minute, how did you kind of get involved with the project? Has this been a role uh, or even just in the DC universe? Has this been something you wanted to really jump into more? Absolutely. I mean, I grew up as a as a huge nerd. Like I, I when I was a kid, I have to find a photo of this and and, and post it. But I, I I dressed up as like my own version of Superman when I was a kid. It was his name was like Super J, and I basically just I, <laughs> I took a white t shirt and I drew on it with Sharpie, and it was just like a you know the Superman triangle. I just put a J in the middle, and I think I had a Batman cape. It was a weird hodgepodge of things. I um, love it. <laughs> But I, I love Superman as a kid. And I think I got the email um, saying that, you know, do, do you want to audition to play Superman? And I think my first reaction was like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll be Superman. Like, I just never thought it would happen in a million years. But, you know, you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. So right. I, I put together a tape and sent it in. A couple of weeks went by, which usually means eh, you might not have gotten it. But um then I got it and I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. It's still weird for me to say I'm Superman out loud. Uh, like ugh, it doesn't feel real <laughs> coming out of my mouth, but um, I got to check out the show last night. I finally got, you know, oh, some screeners, nice. screeners for it. And I, I was, I just love it so much. I, I love how genuine it is. And I love how it's about not only Clark slash Superman, but Lois and Jimmy too, and how integral uh, they are. So it, it's just been, it's just been such a joy, you know, and also coming from a show like the boys, which can be <laughs> yeah. so dark and, and, you know, really taking the, uh, I, I never know if I can swear in these, but t- taking the cheese out of, <laughs> out of superheroes, um, you know, and then to go, go from that to playing a character who is just so genuine and so, uh, just wants to do the right thing. It's it's such a breath of, of fresh air. Um, uh, it, it's very very cool, and I, I I just I consider it a huge honor to play uh, this character. It's been amazing. Well, you know, I mean, you you mentioned it. It's is it sur- is it surreal? When does it really hit you when you start voicing the character and start to really like you know uh, start using the dialogue and things like that, or when you see it all together? Like when does it really hit that like your Superman kind of hit me last night, to be honest. Okay. Like, you know, I mean, I saw bits and pieces of it doing um, uh, ADR uh, where I, you know, kind of just see just the context around the moment. Um, but, but uh, no, I, it hit me last night. It hit me hard. Um, I, I, I still can't believe it, but last night made it slightly more real. And, um, you know, I love the, the dynamic that, that Clark has with, with Jimmy and Lois. And I found myself getting very emotional randomly for the, for the, for the uh, Clark and Lois scenes. I just think they're, they're so sweet together. And obviously it's a couple that we've seen, you know, time immemorial get together, but um, the way that the team uh, behind the show orchestrated those scenes, I just thought was so, so beautiful. So uh, again, uh, I still don't quite believe it, but I believe it slightly more and uh, <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, and I love, too, that the show, like right from the get go, um, you know, we, we've seen a, a bunch of different approaches to like Clark and Lois. You know, sometimes it's not like antagonistic, but like it, it takes a while to kind of for yeah. that rapport to build up and that trust and things like that. And I love they hear it's like first episode, like by the end of the first episode, it's already there's already like uh, a bond between them and you kind of get going from there. And and also just some of the things of even Clark's history and background and like the Kryptonian stuff, like all of that is in the first episode. Like there's pieces of that. And I love that it gets going so fast because, you know, we've seen like so many times we've seen Superman and the origin and things. And so I just love that here, it doesn't take four episodes to really like get into things. We're we're already there. Was that kind of part of the fun of it too for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, everyone knows the story, you know, everyone knows the myth. Um, and it's cool to play around with that. I like that this version of, of Clark um, really doesn't know much about uh, Krypton or, or where he comes from or his power set. Uh, I like that he's discovering his powers uh, as the show goes along and, and it's powers that the audience knows, but ones that he's 
you know, he, he's really discovering for the first time. Um, he's able to get hurt a bit, you know, because he's, he hasn't quite, uh, there are certain aspects of his power that are still a little on the lower side. Uh, so that's, that was a really interesting thing to play around with, but I think at, at the core, I'm really just excited that this is a version of, um, not to knock any any uh, portrayal of, of Superman, but what I like about ours is that he's Clark first. You know, he that's who he is at his core. Clark Kent isn't the persona he puts on to fit in um, or to have people underestimate him. Like Clark Kent is just is who he is, and he's just a really sweet guy who who genuinely wants to be a good reporter and genuinely wants to do the nice thing and 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 the right thing. Um, I like that in the beginning, he's, he's hiding his powers from the world as well. And he has aspirations just to be, you know, I think he says, I want to be a normal man having a normal day. Uh, and, uh, I just think it's such a great parallel to, he's a bit younger in this and, you know, the, the things that happen in your twenties where you're, you're really trying to figure yourself out and how do I fit in with the, with the, the grander world at large, you know, uh, I think in every episode, more or less, um, Clark either asks himself, who am I? Or someone will look at him and go, who are you? Uh, so it's a really cool journey of, of self-discovery. Well, and I know I have to let you go here, but uh, you know, what can you tease about what, what fans can expect uh, throughout the season? And uh, you know, are, are you excited to maybe return for more? You know? Oh my God, I would love to return for more. Um, but I think, yeah, with the, with the two seasons that we've recorded, um, I think that there's going to be a lot of great Superman deep cuts that fans are really going to appreciate. Um, I really love the, you know, it, it, there's a bit of episodic, there's a, a somewhat episodic nature to some of the episodes, but it really does start to pick up and become something more serialized. And and the journey that uh, Lois and Clark and Jimmy go through is is really interesting, and I think will surprise some longtime Superman fans. Like I like I love that it feels very classic and very new at the same time. So I'm, I'm just really excited for for people to check it out. We're all really proud of it. No, well, well, you should be. It's it's fun. It's great. I love it. I've been enjoying Superman in the comics this year so much, and and the movies are also having fun with him. So uh, it's a, yeah. it's a year for Superman. It's great. So all the best success. Thank you. Thank you, man.